Greetings and welcome back everybody to another video. So today I'm going to show you how you can disable or tweak the timeout of the IntelliPark feature on these new Western Digital Blue hard drives. So this is a brand new WD Blue hard drive WD40EZRZ and this one has been manufactured on 3rd of August 2019. So this is indeed one of the latest WD hard drives as of 2019 and the capacity is 4 terabytes and I've stuck some tape to hide the serial number because I have not registered this drive on the WD's website just yet. So from the information that I could gather from the internet what Western Digital has done is that they've killed off their WD green desktop hard drives and instead replaced them with SSDs. So no more green mechanical hard drives, instead they've carried over all of the power saving features onto their blue hard drives. So this one has that dreaded IntelliPark power saving feature. So what IntelliPark does is that it parks the head after 8 seconds of inactivity. Now the thing is because the timeout is set to 8 seconds, the head will park itself every 8 seconds due to inactivity and as a result of that 8 second timeout, the head unload and load cycle count will increase dramatically and that can cause premature failure of the hard drive because load and unload cycles are not infinite. Okay, so to tweak the IntelliPark functionality, the first thing you'll need is a USB drive. Now I have a 16GB USB drive lying around but you can use a smaller capacity drive such as 4GB or even 1 one gigabyte. The next thing we'll need to do is move onto the computer and download Ultimate Boot CD. So before you download Ultimate Boot CD and Rufus, the first thing you should do is plug the USB drive in into your computer and make sure that the USB drive is empty because you're going to lose all your data on it. Alright, so the first thing you'll need to do is download Ultimate Boot CD ISO from ultimatebootcd.com. I'll put this link down in the video description. So Ultimate Boot CD is a collection of fantastic tools and it also includes WD Idle which we will use to disable the IntelliPark or increase its timeout. So just go to this website, scroll down and from over here you can download the ISO. So there are a ton of mirror sites available but I downloaded the Ultimate Boot CD from this magnet link. So once I click this it will open up uTorrent and I already have this downloaded and it's right there on my desktop. The second thing we'll need to do is download Rufus. We will use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. So download and install this. So download is right over here. Download and install. So I have Rufus already installed. So once you launch Rufus, you will see this little window. So I'm just going to minimize the web browser. So from over here, make sure that you select the USB drive. I have mine already selected. So the next thing we need to do is just drag and drop the ultimate boot CD ISO onto Rufus and it will automatically select this and just press start and press OK. It's just warning all the data on the drive will be deleted. Click OK. So that is it. Our bootable USB is now ready. And by the way, if you are wondering, the method that I'm going to show you does work fine on these new Western Digital Blue hard drives because I already have an identical 4TB WD Blue drive with the IntelliPark timeout set to 5 minutes and it has been working fine for almost 2 months now. And it goes without saying, if you have any data on the drive, make sure that you take a backup because there is always a risk of losing all your data when you do this sort of stuff. This hard drive is brand new so it does not have any partitions on it so I'm just gonna pop it in on my computer and then we will begin. And also do make sure that you unplug all the other drives on your computer and just leave the drive on which you want to tweak the IntelliPark feature. So I'm gonna shut the computer down, unplug all the drives and then leave this drive plugged in. Okay you guys can see all the other drives are now unplugged including my boot SSD. So only the WD Blue is plugged in. This is the drive on which we want to tweak the IntelliPark feature. And my USB is also plugged in over there. So everything is now ready. I'm going to turn the computer on and just listen to the sound of this hard drive spinning up. Yeah, that was awesome. And it should boot up into the Ultimate Boot CD automatically. I haven't changed anything in the BIOS. And that is it. That's the ultimate boot CD menu. 
So on this computer, I haven't made any changes to the BIOS, it just boots up directly from the USB drive into the Ultimate Boot CD menu. But depending on your configuration, you might need to change the boot order to USB first and then boot up into the Ultimate Boot CD menu. But for my computer, I haven't changed anything, it just boots up straight into the Ultimate Boot CD menu from the USB. Now from this Ultimate Boot CD menu, what you want to do is move on to HDD, press enter, then move on to device info and management then press enter again now move down here and you guys can see WD idle 3 western digital and then press enter and this will launch the WD idle program now we will just wait so once WD idle is loaded up you will see this screen so let me just move the camera down here so you should see this little prompt I think this angle is much better you guys can see everything clearly okay so the first thing we'll do is check the timer which is already set from the factory so enter this command WD idle 3 give a space then forward slash then R press enter and this will show you the already set timer which is 8 seconds now if you want to disable the IntelliPark head parking feature Type in WD idle 3, give a space, forward slash, and then D, then press enter. Now, for desktop environment, I don't really recommend that you disable IntelliPark head parking feature completely. Instead, we will increase the timeout to 5 minutes. So I will just press backspace, type in S, then 300. So 300 seconds, then press enter. And that will change the timeout to 300 seconds, which is five minutes so this is a much better option than disabling it but you might want to disable the head parking feature completely if you do plan to use this hard drive in a network attached storage so now that we have successfully changed the timeout from eight seconds all the way up to five minutes now we can go ahead and switch the computer off so i'll just switch it off from the power button doesn't matter and remove the usb and i will plug back all the drives in and start the computer okay so now we are in windows now this is a brand new hard drive so it's not gonna show up in the computer right now we will have to format the hard drive first so right click this pc manage and tap on disk management and it should automatically prompt that there's a brand new hard drive you must initialize a disk before local disk manager can access it so gpt is fine you must use gpt if the drive is bigger than two terabytes okay so this is the brand new 4 terabyte wd hard drive so new simple volume next next let windows assign whatever drive letter it wants to next i'm just gonna re delete that perform quick format okay ntfs default next and finish and we will wait for it to format and that is it the drive will now show up in the computer so this is the new western digital 4 terabyte hard drive it shows up as 3.63 terabytes that is completely normal now to quickly demonstrate that this drive is working perfectly fine i'm just gonna dump all of these video files onto the new wd blue hard drive so just drag and drop let's see our transfer speed yeah this is gonna drop because i'm just transferring from an ssd should sustain somewhere around 100 megabytes per second so this is actually not bad now the first thing i want to do is run a bad sector scan because this hard drive has traveled quite a distance the retailer which i bought this drive from is like on the other side of the country so the first thing that i like to do on every new hard drive is run wd's live card diagnostic tool so i'm just going to download this by the way this link is in the video description so i'm just gonna open this up and unpack this on my desktop Close this, close the web browser, and you can see the sustained write speed is about 130 megabytes per second. Not bad. So that's done. Now I'm just gonna install WD's lifeguard diagnostic software. Next, install. So launch, I accept, next. So I'm just gonna resize this real quick. 
Now this is our hard drive WDC WD40 EZRZ. So this is the 4TB hard drive. Now it's already showing that the smart status has passed but what I like to do on every new hard drive is right click, run diagnostics and run a extended test. So this will perform a full media scan to detect bad sectors. So I'm just going to click on start and do keep in mind this will take a lot of time. Doesn't matter because I want to be 100% sure that this drive does not have any bad sectors on it. Very important to test on a new hard drive because in case this hard drive has any bad sectors, I will be easily able to replace this drive from the online retailer. So we won't have to go through the RMA process. So the bad sector scan is now finally complete and it took almost 8 hours to complete. Holy crap, that's a lot of time. But hey, the drive is completely fine. There are no bad sectors on this. And just want to show you guys real quick, the load and unload cycle count on this hard drive is just 4. And I'm using HWinfo to see this. So we have been successful in changing the IntelliPark settings on the new Western Digital Blue hard drive. So I think guys that wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will be happy to answer them. So thank you for watching. Do stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.